2.48 p.m. Beijing time on Thursday, the Chang'e 6 successfully completed the task. Their sender lifted off from the far side of the moon on Tuesday, entering lunar orbit. After four orbital adjustments, it reached the position some 50 kilometers in front of the combination and 10 kilometers above it. The combination gradually approached and docked with the sender through short-range auto control. Experts at the Beijing Aerospace Control Center say there are risks involved in the docking procedure, but the whole process went smoothly, and the level of precision was very high. Subsequently, the Chang'e 6 orbiter and returner combination will move around the moon, waiting for the window to complete its return and re-enter the atmosphere, bringing the sample safely from the moon to Earth. Zheng Yibing, CDTN, Beijing. So let's take a look at the Chang'e 6's journey to the dark side of the moon and its return to Earth. The spacecraft blasted off on May the 3rd on a 53-day journey to the far side of the moon and back. This hidden side is never visible from Earth. A rover landed on the lunar planet's far side on June the 2nd to collect two kilograms of rocks and soil, something that's never been done before. The samples were transferred to the ascent vehicle and blasted off to meet the orbiting service module. The precious samples will return in a capsule that can survive the descent through the Earth's atmosphere on June 25th. 